Hello and welcome to a new video about networks. We're talking about Internet Protocol. This time we start to talk about Internet Protocol version 6. So the follow-up version of version 4 we talked about now. We said, okay, there are reasons that, that IP version 6 must be done. Yeah? And this was developed in the 1990s. So it's around pretty long already. Yeah? For right now it's about, let's say, 60% of the internet traffic is already version 6. The rest is version 4 still. So, a uh, reason for, for Internet Protocol version 6, main reason is, of course, uh, the, the address space exhaustion. So, we need more addresses for all our network devices and so on. And this means our, the main, a uh, big difference is that the address of Internet Protocol version 6 contains of 128 bits. Yeah, so we have 128-bit addresses. And usual, we have 64-bit code prefix and 64-bit code network interface. It's the interface ID also. So that, that's already one principle, that the interface ID is identifying the device, is identifying, is identifying the, the interface, yeah? the device simply. And this might be used in several prefixes, with several prefixes. And so this already implements some sort of Let's say one prefix is from one internet service provider and another prefix is from another internet service provider. And both uh, might direct to my mobile phone here huh? because this has an interface ID and I might get it via here or via here. So this multi-homing, this is called, this is natively built in in Internet Protocol version 6 so that we separate uh, somehow we can identify one interface by different IP addresses. This is the reason behind this, that one interface might have different IP addresses, different prefix, prefixes usually. Yeah? Uh, so uh, this means if somebody knows my interface ID of this device, yeah, then <laughs> privacy is gone. This will not, there's no network address translation and so on, what we talked about in Internet version 4. This is my device and we have end-to-end -end communication. This is a basic principle which was not possible anymore in, in Internet Protocol version 4 because simply we had a lack of addresses. But now we can. Now the device has an address and can be identified. This is not always good. So there are, of course, discussions about privacy and so on. And there are also privacy extensions for this, where, you know, you get mask network interface. Usually, then this network interface is, is somehow calculated after, out of the MAC address of this device. And then, then there are techniques how to mask to get a little bit privacy back. But basically, it's, it's the case. Uh, there are also thoughts, uh, yeah, what if the prefix part is changing and so on. Yeah, but actually that's, that's extensions. The problem was solved in Internet Protocol version 6 and the other one, whoop, arise simply. Yeah? Privacy one. So how is this, how is this uh, network notated? usually, yeah, written in hexadecimal notation, in blocks of 16-bit. Let's say 
we do have the address. Hmm. 2201-0DB8-0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
So this is written with the slash and, and, and the bit, bit numbers again. So what are the advantages now? Yeah, advantages. I write it bigger. I write bigger, bigger, because it's hugely bigger. Yeah, address space. Then we have, as we will talk about this in the next video, we will have a smaller. more effective header design. Some things are simply skipped. There is no header checksum and so on. This makes it easier for the router. Uh, it will face faster routing. All right, just faster routing. We'll have a look at the IP version 6 header in next videos. Huh? Before, before we are talking about uh, how this address is generated usually, and then we'll have a look at the header. Uh, IPsec is part of the standard. Encryption on IP level. Then also quality of service, multicast, are natively built in. And then there's also a thing called mobile. I'll write it here. Mobile IP. Yeah. This is a technique, you know, I have here my mobile phone, or I have a laptop, or I have some portable device, which is very usual nowadays, and I want that this device has always the same IP address, regardless if I'm at home, if I'm at work, if I'm at a conference in, I don't know, United Nations, New York, or I somewhere. Yeah? If this device has the same IP address everywhere, it's easier for communicating yeah this is a multi mobile ip it's called this there is working a little bit i would say a little bit like 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 this network address translation network address translation so there's a shadow computer which will forward and tunnel and, and stuff doesn't really matter it's built in yeah it's a feature so this is what Internet Protocol version 6 is, yeah, bigger addresses differently and now we know how they are noted and what all those little columns, signs and so on mean, yeah, and uh, yeah, next time we're going to talk about how these addresses are usually generated, how there must be also an authority giving somebody IP addresses, we'll talk about that next time, for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.